Hi everybody, this is Audrey. Today I'm going to show you how to get photos of very specific sizes and to print them using Photoshop Elements. So I get asked this question all the time, how did you get your photos to be two by two or how did you get your photos that small to fit into that frame? And I do all of my photo editing in Photoshop um, and basically what I do is I kind of go through all my photos and um, you know, pick a whole bunch that I want to print and I'll, I'll sit down in one sitting and print a whole bunch of photos at once so that I have them ready when I want to sit down and scrap. So the first thing, this is just the way I do it. I know there are lots of ways you could probably do this, but this is the way I figured out that works best for me. So I've gone through each of my um, photos and I have edited them already um, and, you know, adjust the light and other things like that that I wanted to do for my photos. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, once I get all of my photos open, the ones that I want to print and have edited them, I'm going to create a new blank file. And I create one that is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. So just that's the size of my paper, my photo paper that I'm going to print on. And the resolution, you know, you can set that to um, how you want. I usually like a higher quality, so I use um, 300 pixels per inch. Um, I'm just going to title this, uh, we'll just title it um, Photo Printing. And you know, you don't even have to title it because you're most likely not going to save it. I don't save these files after I print them, so I keep them open until they're printed and I check my prints to make sure that it's okay and then I just kind of delete delete this. So you will get a plain, um, you know, white background, white canvas to work with that is eight and a half by 11. So now let's say that you want to print photos that are, let's say, 4x4. Four four. So what I do is I go over to this little rectangle tool or the shape tool and I'm going to choose just a rectangle shape and I'm going to go over here and click fixed size because I want a certain specific size and I said again 4x4 four four. so my width is going to be 4 inches and my height is going to be 4 inches. And then I'll just go up here and click and it will make a four by four square. So that is a four by four square on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So now when I wanna add my photo in there, I'll go back to my photo bin down here and I'm just going to grab this photo down in my photo bin because it is a square photo and I'm going to drag that up and I'm just going to just click the corners of this photo and resize it until it fits right in that square. Now you see my photo is actually behind that box right now. So I can either go over here to my layers panel and um, oh, let, me, let me accept that. I can just switch the layers where they are. Um, or I can, once I get the photo to fit right in the square, I can just go over here and click on the shape that I had initially created, the black box, and just delete it. And now I don't have a black box there at all. I just have my photo. So let me show you that again with a different size and well actually let me go back to the, the square again. So I'm going to create another square that's 4 by 4 and I'm going to show you, oops, let me go back here, 4 by 4, fixed size, 4 inches by 4 inches, I'm just going to click and there is another 4 by 4 square. Now let's say I want, um, I have a photo that's not a perfect square. I have a photo that is, um, uh, you know, a, a, a a normal rectangle shape. So I'm going to click that photo and drag it up here. But I want to try and get a 4x4 photo out of this um, out of this rectangular one. So what you can do is you could initially go through and crop this photo um, down to a square um, first. But if I want to get this photo to fit in this box, I'm going to first put the I'm going to first put the photo in front of um, the black square. So I'm just rearranging the later layers here so that the photo is in front of the black square. And if I go over here to the layers bar, and I'm going to put my mouse or my, my, uh, you know, my finger right between the photo and the black box. And on my, I'm using a Mac by the way, I'm not sure what the shortcut is here for a PC, but on my Mac, if I pressed on the Alt button, you'll see a little, um, square with an arrow and what that does is it groups that particular shape so the one above into the one below so I am going to group this photo into that square and you could watch what happens over on my um, 
my eight and a half by 11 sheet there when I do that. So I click that and now you can see where the outline of my photo is, but you don't see the entire photo. You only see that one portion and oops, let me undo that here. And now I can drag that photo over and I am only getting a square shape. And again, you can see where the outline of my original photo is. So basically it's grouping that um, photo into that, that shape. By the way, you could do the same thing. Let me go back over here and pick a circle. If I wanted to make um, a circle, I can make a dark circle there and then take another photo. Let me put a different photo in. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's say this photo, for example. I'm going to drag this photo up. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller there. So it will fit in my photo. And now you can see the photo is rectangular. But over here in my layers palette, my um, I'm going to group my photo into that circle shape. So I hit the Alt button on my keyboard. And, oops. I forgot to accept my photo over here. I had to make sure my, my photo was um, accepted and then group that there. So there is my photo within that shape. So you could do that with any shape photo. You have all kinds of shapes over here. Let me, let me choose a wonky one. Oh, here's a heart. Let's try a heart shape. So I'll draw, draw a heart and choose another photo. Let's see, I know I got a good one to go in here. Let me just pick this one. I'll resize that. This one you might have to play around with a little bit. You got to make sure that your shape is wider than, or that the photo is wider. This one may not fit well because of the proportion of our heads inside um, this particular photo. But let me move. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to move my photo right above my heart. So now my photo is over my heart. I'm going to put my mouse right between those two, hit the Alt and group them together. And this might work. I might be able to get it to fit in there right, but this may not be the oops, the best shape to um, to put in there. I'm just using my arrow keys now to help me move this photo around. So I probably should try to find a different photo that would fit in that shape a little bit better so my husband's head's not cut off there. But anyway, you get the idea. You can group any um, you can group a photo into any kind of shape. So let me go through, I'm gonna delete some of these here um, because I don't want to um, have them take up this page here. Um, okay, so if I go back over to my shapes again, I choose a rectangle. Again, I can do something as small as, you know, I do a lot of tiny photos like one and a half by two, for example, and I can um, just click a whole bunch of those and I could go over to my um, photo bin and choose photos and just resize them. Now, if you are trying to print a photo that's a very specific size, um, again, you just type in your dimensions right in the um, a fixed width area and it will fit right in. So there I could fill all these in with little photos. And let me show you one a, a page here that I have ready ready to print. So I like to leave a white border around my photos a little bit so that I can cut a white border out around them. Um, so I have made boxes of the specific sizes here. These are four by four. This is about four by five and a half. And then these are one very specific size, one and a half by two and three quarters, I think, um, approximately. And then when I'm ready to print, I'm just going to go up here and go to file and print. I don't have my printer connected to my computer right now. I'm going to pick my um, photo printer um, when you hit your print size, you want because you have um, set this to be eight and a half by eleven. I'm going to select my actual size, eight and a half by eleven, and um, you, you can see that uh, it will print that size. Um, if you want to add a little bit uh, more border around it, if you now here's the thing though, if you add a border 
around this uh, printed image once you have um, already s selected your photo sizes it's going to change the size of your photos because you're going to be adding a border like so for example if I put half you know 0.5 inch border and I hit apply you can see how my photos in the background um, got smaller and that's because I've added a white border to the outside so I don't want to add a white border so I'm going to just go back to where my photos were and hit okay and then I just print it on my eight and a half by 11 um, paper and then I am done. So this is how I print my photos. Um, again, I'm not going to go through all my editing process because, you know, how you edit your photos is your own, um, you know, you, you might use a, a different online tool for editing, but that is how I print them in lots of different sizes. So if you have any questions or there are um, things I did not cover that you would um, like me to go back and touch on a little bit more, please let me know. Um, and I will try to help you out as best I can. So thanks so much for watching today and stay scrappy and I will see you soon. I've got to go print out these photos and scrap them. Have a great day. Bye.